Brothers! Brothers, please! Let me out of this well! Brothers! Brothers! Brothers, please! I've been in this well for hours now. I can't seem to find a way out. It must be 30, 40 feet down here. I've tried climbing and I've tried screaming for hours, but my brothers won't let me out. My voice is scratchy from the yelling. There's no water down here. It's dry well. And I'm so thirsty. I need out of here. I don't think I'm ever going to get out. My brothers are mad at me. They're mad because I'm the father's favorite. I was the youngest of the brothers from his favorite wife until Benjamin was born. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've tried to climb out of here and I can't get out. My brothers are mad at me. Why are they mad at me? I did give father a bad report once, but because he asked, he asked me how my brothers were doing. They were tending the sheep in the fields and they were careless. Sheeps were wandering off. I, I gave a bad report to my father. That made them angry. They wouldn't play with me. They hated me. They hate me. They threw me in this well. I'm stuck down here. My father sent me out to go see what my brothers were doing while tending the sheep in the fields. I came out here to find them. When they saw me coming from a distance, they all gathered around in a big group. When I approached, they grabbed me. They took my, my new favorite coat that my father gave me. He made it. It had so many colors on it. It was beautiful. They took it. They ripped it from my body. They tore it. They threw me down this well. Why were they so mad? Maybe because father only made me a coat. Didn't make them one. They were going to kill me. Reuben decided to throw me down here. <sighs> maybe I'll get out. Maybe they'll maybe they'll let me out. They're so mad at me though. It must be the dreams. It has to be the dreams. I had dreams where we were in the field. <sighs> we were binding our sheaves together in the field. There's mine stood up and there's gathered around in a circle around mine. And they bowed down to it. This made them mad. They thought that this meant that I was saying they should worship me. I, it was a dream. I was telling them. What am I going to do? How am I going to get out of here? Maybe it was the other dream. The dream with the stars. The sun and the moon. They all gathered around me and they bowed down to me. That must be it. They must have been so mad about that dream. Even my father was upset about it. My coat was so beautiful. They tore it. They ripped it from my body. How am I going to get out of here? I can't get out. Are they going to kill me? Are they going to leave me down here to die? <sighs> What's going to happen next? I hear something. Brothers! Is that you? They're lowering down a rope. Brothers, throw me the rope! Let me out! find myself in jail now. How did I get to this prison? When I was at the bottom of the well, my brother Judah convinced my brothers to not kill me, but to sell me to some traders who had, were just passing by. They sold me to the traders, they took me to Egypt, and Potiphar bought me. I worked hard for Potiphar and God was with me. I became very successful and Potiphar saw that everything I did, the Lord blessed. Potiphar made me second in charge of his household. I was in charge of everything that Potiphar owned. I was, Potiphar didn't lift a finger except to choose what to eat. However, I was very handsome. Potiphar's wife, she took a liking to me. Multiple times she came at me and she told me to lie with her. I refused and I walked away. One day I went into Potiphar's house. No one else was in the house. Potiphar's wife grabbed me by the arm. She grabbed my robe. She said, lie with me. I said, no, I cannot do that. 
How could I do such a thing against your husband, against God? I cannot do such a horrible sin. And I ran away. She grabbed my cloak as I ran out. And she yelled for the other men of the house, saying that I tried to lie with her. When Potiphar returned home, she told her, she told him the lie that I had done. It wasn't true. Potiphar was furious. He sent me to this jail, the king's prison, where the king's, king's prisoners are. I'm here now, become very successful in the jail. I don't know what's going to happen next. We had two new prisoners come in today, a baker and the king's cupbearer. We'll see what God has in plan for us. Here I am, in the Pharaoh's palace. I find myself here because of God. God has taken me from the prison and brought me to the king's palace. I remember when I was in the prison and the cupbearer and the baker were brought in. They both had dreams. I was able to interpret both of their dreams accurately because of God. Later, about two years later, the Pharaoh had a dream. Cupbearer remembered me, remembered that I was able to interpret the dreams, and he told the Pharaoh about me. Pharaoh saw me. I was able to interpret the Pharaoh's dream because of God. And because of that, Pharaoh made me second in command of all of his kingdom. Only he is greater than I in Egypt. Recently, my brothers had come looking for the abundance that Egypt has in this famine. I played some tricks on them. I needed to see if they were repentant for what they had done to me. And recently I told them who I was. I told them that I was their brother. And now my father and all of his family are coming to live with me in Egypt. It's going to be so wonderful. God has done such great things for me. I am blessed from God. I am Joseph.